What'd you, what was your goal when you came here? What did you want to accomplish? Um, I really just want to come and compete, learn a lot of new things, um, see where I was at against the, all the great quarterbacks across the, this area. What's it like, you, you, you know, it's so important for quarterbacks to be on the same page as receivers. In a situation like this, you really don't know the other guys. I mean, how do you compensate for yeah, that? Yeah, it's a little different because, like, a lot, of, a lot of receivers kind of think differently about different routes, so it's kind of hard to get, like, 100% on what, like, what you're doing, but you just got to talk a lot with them and make sure but like, you won't you won't be right on everything but you just got to work with it what kind of feedback did you get from the coaches were you pleased with that um, a lot of coaches a lot of coaches gave great feedback they were really uh, like critical and uh, helping with a lot of things that like my ball placement was good threw a good ball and then they helped me with stuff like on the run um, how to like uh, get my hips turned around stuff like that so they're really helpful and they're really nice about it so. you seemed real assertive it didn't seem like you were the sophomore you kind of got in there right away and tried to get your reps in was yeah. that kind of your plan come because this it's dog eat dog out here yeah. sometimes I don't know, yeah I, I come in I try to try to take all the reps I can try to try to get noticed try to get some yeah. here, try to get the coach to coaches to help me with a lot so I don't know I, th I, I feel like it's kind of a waste if I come here and I kind of sit back and be the nice guy and don't get a lot of reps so I want to get better so I try to take a lot of reps I know I've talked to you this about this but you got a chance to see Iowa again and uh, you know since you've been there and had a chance to reflect where you know what are you how are you feeling about the Hawkeyes I'm really like in Iowa. I like I like Coach O'Keefe a lot. I'm building a great relationship with the coaches, so I think that's great. So I, I think it's the best thing is just me and um, all the coaches building a relationship, getting to know it better, which will help me in the future. You gonna you plan on stopping back there either summers, you know? Um, I'm not really sure. I'll probably go up there for a spring practice, maybe the spring game. But I'm not sure yet. Have you gotten a chance to see them practice? Yet? I have not yet. Okay. Not yet. Is that important to you to get yeah, a chance? Yeah, I, 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 I really want to see see them practice. I want to see the coaches like interact with players, see how they practice. If it's um like what kind of practices high tempo energy stuff like that so I, I think it'd be good to watch practice you have any visits coming up or spring games any of that stuff you get your... um i'm actually going to notre dame tomorrow okay yep is that interest starting to pick up that's yeah. that's one of those blue bloods yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> i guess so i guess so <laughs> how, how, what's the i guess what's the relationship with is it relatively new that they've um, yeah they, they just started they called my dad i think last week and asked me to come out for a visit so that, that's pretty much the first thing i've heard from them how do you keep this stuff in perspective and kind of stay grounded? When, you know, I mean, you're halfway through your high school career and you've got a lot of good stuff going on. My parents help me a lot and all my friends. Um, they make sure, you know, I don't I don't get too high on everything. Make sure to keep everything in perspective and like tell you, like it's all for your future. Don't let this get too big. Don't let it get bigger than it is. So my parents help me a lot of stuff. Cool.